Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into Ubuntu 25.04, codenamed Plucky Puffin, and there's a lot to unpack. Ubuntu has always been one of the most popular Linux distributions serving both individuals and enterprises, and this upcoming release is no exception. It comes with some exciting improvements. From a smoother dual boot experience to advanced disk encryption support that handles Windows BitLocker encrypted disks without forcing you to disable BitLocker unnecessarily. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? So take a breath and let's jump right into what makes Ubuntu 25.04 stand out. The development journey for this release is quite the ride. It all began on October 17th with development kicking off, followed by Ubuntu testing week on December 19th. Things get really locked in with the feature freeze on February 20th and the UI freeze on March 13th. Then, for those of you who love a sneak peek, there's the beta release on March 27th, a release candidate on April 10th, and finally the stable final release on April 17th, 2025. This schedule gives you plenty of time to see the progress through daily builds without committing to it on your main system until it's polished and ready. One of the big changes you'll notice is with the installer. Ubuntu's developers have really focused on refining the experience, especially for those of you who like to dual boot. When you're installing Ubuntu, the process now provides detailed information about your existing operating systems, making it clear when you're choosing options like installing into free space or replacing an existing Ubuntu installation. And if you're worried about disk encryption, rest assured, they've improved support for encrypted drives, so managing BitLocker on Windows disks is smoother than ever. Another major highlight is the integration of Linux kernel 6.14, which brings in support for Ryzen AI NPUs, enhanced AMD GPU DRM panic support, and better compatibility for Realtek Ethernet controllers. Now there's a slight chance they might roll with Linux kernel 6.13 if there are any hiccups, but fingers crossed for 6.14. Alongside this, Ubuntu 25.04 is embracing a fresh user interface with GNOME 48, set to roll out around mid-March. Expect cool new features like on-screen notifications for headphone connections, improved keyboard, backlight controls, and enhanced color management. And then there's the brand new well-being feature. If you've ever used Android's digital well-being, you'll love this. It lets you set screen time limits, gives you movement and eyesight reminders, and even switches your screen to grayscale after reaching your limit, which is a great way to reduce eye strain during those long work sessions. I really wish there was even a hydration reminder in there um, because I could use one. On the app front, there are significant updates as well. Firefox's Snap package has been improved to better support OpenSE smart cards, so if you rely on smart card authentication, this is definitely a win. There's also talk about GIMP 3.0 potentially being included, although if there are any delays, it might still be the RC3 version or an older one. The PDF viewer is getting a makeover too, with papers potentially replacing events, though details on that are still a bit sketchy. And for those using the Epiphany, GNOME web browser video playback has been improved thanks to the optional installation of the GStreamer 1.0 plugins bad package, which means broader media support without forcing it on you. There are a few miscellaneous updates that round out this release. Expect various performance improvements with cups for smoother printing, a new top charts section in the App Center, the inclusion of the upcoming NVIDIA 570 GPU driver, and even a preview of Ubuntu Core Desktop. Additionally, fixes have been implemented and backported for issues on NVIDIA plus valence setups, which should make your overall experience even better. Now, I should mention that Ubuntu 25.04 is still in its development stage, so if you're excited to try it out, I'd recommend using a virtual machine or a spare system for now. The final stable release won't hit until April 17th, 2025. So if you're not in a rush, it's probably best to wait until then to avoid any potential instability or bugs. So what do you think? Are you ready to explore Ubuntu 25.04 and all these new features or are you waiting for that final release to make your move? 
let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more updates and tap that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.